I think the first thing on my goals list should be repainting my nails because they are a hot mess today. Yesterday I walked through the Power Sheets workbook and people wanted to know if I could do a walkthrough of Power Sheets versus the Michaels Recollections Goal Planner side by side because this is $55 for the year notebook and this one is $29.99 but you can use a coupon most of the time. I got this one for like 15 bucks. Like it's a lot cheaper. So let's talk about the differences between the two besides the price. They are both spiral bound. The Make It Happen book has a plastic binding. The Recollections has like a metal binding. The binding on the Recollections planner seems a little substantial. The Make It Happen sheets look like they're like a little smaller than standard paper size. Like the cover seems standard like eight and a half by 11 and then the inside sheets are a little bit smaller than that but not by much. Whereas this one is like in the seven by nine size, like this Michael's goal setting planner is about the same size as an Erin Condren. So if I put them on top of each other, you can see that the size difference is about, you know, I don't know, I can't guesstimate, maybe an inch or two, inch and a half. Cover wise, the power sheets have that like kind of coated laminated, not laminated, but like coated cardstock feel with gold foiling on it. And the Michaels planner also has gold foiling on it, but it is laminated and it has a clear border on it of about like half an inch all the way around of laminate. Covers are interchangeable, just like you probably, I think somebody tested and you can get an Erin Condren cover on this. It just is off by like one hole or something. I'm not sure. That also sounds kind of inappropriate. Neither of them seem to have a problem being flipped completely around, so that's cool. The inner page, there's no foiling on this one. There is foiling on this one for the very first page. Tabs automatically start here for the goal planner from Recollections, but they're blank, and I'm pretty sure that there's stickers for those in the back, but we'll talk about that when we get to stickers, but the tabs are laminated, so they're gonna be in better, like stay in better condition. Tabs in the power sheets are not laminated, but they are foiled and they're already labeled. When you go into the actual goal setting planner, you turn the page in the recollections planner and you get right to it. You've got like notes from Laura Casey, inspirational quotes, a place for your name, um, and information before you start getting into goal setting section. And there's gold foiling on a lot of these accent pages as well. You can go back to my walkthrough on the, the power sheets to go through the whole prep work when it comes to setting your goals. In the recollections planner, you have one page. What do you want? Why do you want it? What's holding you back? What there's, and I have a walkthrough of this as well, but on this one page is all of the information for you to start setting your goals, where you start asking these questions and start thinking about your goals. In the power sheets, you actually have 12 worksheets to get you through the process of refining what your goals should be. Like this is like not even goal setting work as much as it is like life setting work, looking at your life, looking at the things you want, the things you want to get rid of all of that. So you have 12 worksheets in the power sheets that get you kind of thinking and, and really digging deep to see where your goal should start, right? Then you get to the goals tab and that's kind of this area. This kind of section right here is about equivalent to the 12 sheets. Now not equivalent in the same information, <laughs> equivalent in terms of the same kind of purpose. So you have these, you have seven questions or 12 pages. So that you know, if you take price out of the equation, if you want something that's gonna be a little bit more simple in terms of like getting your goals going for the for the year, then the recollections planner is probably up your alley because you can just answer a couple of questions, start thinking and then make your goals. If you wanna get really deep into what you're doing for the year, if you have like a need to really like look at your life and shit and like think about what you want, then the Laura Casey planner, like goal planner or goal worksheet, it's like, Okay, we'll talk about that in a second, but this may be more of a thing for you if you really want to look deep and really, really take a hard look at how you're thinking about your life and stuff. So if you if that seems daunting, then this is a better option. But if that sounds like a great idea, then you probably want to go with the power sheets. And then we get into the goal pages. So for 2017 goals for this this planner, there's actually two pages, one's on the other side, but you have space for 10 goals. You only have space for two long-term goals and four 
short-term goals. So I'm sure you probably copy this page and reuse it. You know, these action plan worksheets, you have 10 of these in the Power Sheets book for your 10 goals, gives you a chance to start breaking down your goal into manageable steps. And that is kind of comparable to these situations. Here you have two long-term goals and then you have four short-term goals, but those short-term goals are supposed to lead to your long-term goal. And you have space for your steps, deadlines, rewards, and when you finished it, and then the same for the, the longer-term goals. Similar an idea to this action plan, you have more space to write for the action plan and you have 10 goals that you can work towards with your action plan and you have space here for two big goals and four shorter term goals. This is where the recollections planner starts to diverge a little bit from what the power sheets have. Here you can break down your goals by month. So each month you have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight spaces per month to list out your goals. You also have a gratitude tracker and an achievements tracker and then a vision board space. And this actually compares to the, like, the big picture here. So you have some instructions on what to do for your vision board and then like quite a bit of space. And then you have, here are some reasons. This is like, so it looks like the way that the, this goal tracker takes it is you set your goals, then you define your reasons for why you want those goals. And here's a bucket list page. The Laura Casey sheets go the other way. They give you all this time to decide what is it in your life that you need. And then from that, you just, you deconstruct your goals. So it kind of works in the opposite situation and then notes and thoughts. And then we're getting into the months. So here is where the two planners really start to head off to the, the two books head off in different directions. The power sheets does not function as a planner. It gives you it gives you space to think about you, what you're doing for the month in terms of your goals, place to let things go that are like troubling you or like messing you up for the month, some brain dumping space, and then a list to track your goals by month, week, and day. A chance to like, this is cultivating gratitude. And as I said in the other video, the gardening thing, I'm not so sure about, but this is like being grateful or being thankful. Like this is an area for you to keep track of that per month. So everything for the month gives you an opportunity to, to make a plan for the month in terms of your goals and to see how you're doing and to see what you should be doing. The recollections planner, on the other hand, functions as an undated planner. So it's undated, but it gives you a monthly spread. And then it gives you a list of goals for the month, a list of routines for the month. Like this is your weekly routine. And then it gives you your weekly pages where it has some space to write and then three, a list of top three for each day. Again, it's undated. So you have your weekly pages. You have a goal tracker where you can list your goals and it tracks them daily. So it has one through 31. So a daily goal tracker and then a notes page. This functions more like a planner with room for goals in it. The power sheets functions specifically as a tool to maintain and do work on your goals, which kind of goes back to the whole purpose of it. This is kind of like a more simple goal planner, not to help you develop your goals, but just to keep you on track with them. And the Laura Casey book is meant to really help you find, develop, continually refocus on your goals. Another difference between the two, and this goes back to kind of what I was saying about the different kind of purposes for these planners, is that this Michael's Recollections Planner has 12 months worth of work in it. And that's, you just keep going through the month and it's the same layout every month and you continue to maintain your routines, your goals, you check them off, etc. In the Power Sheets, every quarter you have a check-in area and in that check-in area, this is for spring, this has a clear the clutter checklist. The other two areas, the fall and the summer, have different kind of cover pages. This one focuses on like spring cleaning, like your life, not just your house, but your, your internet life, your, your personal life, blah, blah, blah. That's this. And then the other two months have check-in that is kind of specific to that season. And you can see that all in the, the walkthrough that I did. And then each one also has a goal refresh. So it has an area for you to reflect on the goals that you have worked on for the last three months, what went right, what didn't go right, what maybe needs to be tweaked. It gives you a chance to reflect on that. It gives you a chance to really like approach what's gonna happen in the next three months and decide what you're gonna say yes to and what you're gonna say no to and what your focus will be. And then it gives you an opportunity 
if you can see the whole thing, to refresh your 10 goals for the year. You can rewrite them using the same words. You can rewrite them with new words. You can change some of them to different goals entirely because those three months showed you that maybe your goal wasn't a good good fit or it evolved or whatnot. So it gives you a chance to take those 10 goals and refresh and redo them for the next three months. So that happens every quarter in the in the power sheets. And that there's nothing, there's no equivalent to that in the recollections planner. The other area where there's no equivalent in the recollections planner is your end of the year situation, right? So at the end of the recollections planner, you have a section with a pretty significant amount of note pages that you could pages. <clears throat> Can I talk? Oh my God. Sorry for like hawking loogies up into the fucking microphone, but it's been one of those weeks. So you have a bunch of note pages where you could frame it however you wanted to in terms of looking back at your year. In the power sheets, you get to the end, you have a chance to celebrate the progress you made throughout the year. You get to think about what you've learned and what you're grateful for. And you get to there's one final page where you can reflect on like your life coming up ahead, which you like from this year, where do you see you going in the rest of your life or whatever in small steps. It's a big chunk, but it's just basically like visioning out after this year is over at the end of the year. The Laura Casey power sheets come with two pages of stickers. The recollections planner comes with four pages of stickers. The ones are like this kind of like not glossy, but kind of glossy stickers. They're a little heavier duty and kind of, I don't know, hard to describe them. They're not glossy, but they feel more glossy than they do matte. There's a bunch of foiling on these stickers. The recollections planners are matte and should note that one of the pages does have your tabs to your monthly tabs stickers to, you know, because this is undated. So you may not be starting in January. So it gives you your monthly tabs and a bunch of checklist boxes. And then you have stickers that can go in the monthly and with like goals achieved and blah, blah, blah. These look a lot like Aaron Condren stickers and then a bunch of flags and like stars telling you like way to go encouragement stickers. And then these look like they could be used in various like the monthly boxes or in other places. And this you have stickers like again, encouragement stickers, checklist stickers, flags, and encouragement. If you take out the tabs that you needed to use on the things, cause this is already labeled, then I would say that there is more stickers in the recollections planner, but not by much. And the stickers that you get in here, the pages are bigger. So you get a little bit more than that. Plus there's foiling on these. My personal opinion is that I like the, the color palette in this one more than this, but that's just personal preference. And I think that this, I would find these stickers more useful. Well, maybe some of them, the gardening shit, I'm not really into, whatever. But again, this is all personal preference, but you get a you get a bounty of stickers in each one. And then this ends the Lara Casey book, but in the, in the Recollections Planner, you also get a laminated, or this actually, this kind of coated cardstock feels more like the cover of the Lara Casey. You get a pocket folder with two pockets and a zip pouch in this one. After walking through these side by side, I can tell you that they serve different purposes. So if you want one that's going to be really like intensive and treated as like a year long kind of study on your goals, like rather than a planner, it's more like a, a workbook is probably a good way to put it. Then the power sheets are for you. If you want something that is just going to be used more like a tracker and a planner that you can use for goals in whatever arena in your life, and you already have an idea of what you want your goals to be, you just need an easy way to track them daily, monthly, whatever, then I go with the recollections planner. And I didn't mention the paper, but the paper, the recollections paper is thicker than this paper. Just saying. The recollections paper is a lot closer to an inkwell press kind of weight. This is in between an inkwell press and an Aaron Condren in my mind. I feel like maybe the recollections planner is a little bit higher in quality in terms of paperweight, like lamination with the pocket in the back and all those things. But this one is also structured like a planner and it has the quality of a planner. This seems to have the quality of a workbook. Like this is not a planner. This is a specific workbook that gets taken out to like do your work in it, not your plans. If that makes any sense. I feel like I'm in some weird, like esoteric kind of range of talking, but whatever. Which one am I gonna use next year? I'm gonna use the power sheets and I'm probably gonna give this puppy away on my Instagram at Llama Letters. I have a fitness planner that I may be giving away on my Instagram as well. So if you're not following me at Llama Letters, go check it out. I really like this. 
but this is not the things I need for this next year. The worksheet actually feels more something that I need. And the, this book feels like something that's kind of the things that I could do in here, I can just do in my regular planner. But that's my situation. You may have a different situation. I know some people are overwhelmed by something like this. So something like this might be much better. I hope that this comparison was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you next time.